What's up everyone and welcome back to Analyzing the Greats. And today's video is on Tiranish Dababa of Ethiopia, or as many people call her, the baby-faced destroyer. At 5 feet 3 inches and only 106 pounds, Tiranish may appear as a small, non-threatening athlete, but the moment you step on the track with her, everything changes. Tiranish is a 21-time world championship and Olympic medalist, with 14 of those medals being a gold medal. At just 18 years of age, Dababa stunned the running world and brought home a gold medal in the 5,000 meters at the 2003 World Championships in Paris. And ever since this World Championship, Tiranish has had consistent performances and she has always been the person to beat. Whether it be on the track, cross country, or road races, Tiranish certainly earns her nickname as a destroyer. To give you an idea of just how dominant she has been in her career, she never lost a 10,000 meter race until June 29th, 2016 at the Ethiopian Trials. Now, I'm not exactly sure when she first started this win streak, but the earliest confirmed date I could find goes back to 2005. This means that for 11 years, Dababa was untouchable over the 10,000 meters. 11 years, I mean, come on. Since 2014, Dababa has been double dipping in major marathons as well as running track. For her marathon debut, Dababa ran a 2.20.35, that's 2 hours, 20 minutes, and 35 seconds, which is a solid debut. However, in 2017, just three years after giving birth to her son Nathan, Dababa appeared in the London Marathon to run a time of 2 hours, 17 minutes, and 56 seconds. This made her the third fastest performer ever at the time. I, I think it goes without saying that Tiranish is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, female distance runners of all time. But the question remains, how exactly did Dababa stay so consistent for so long? Let's take a look at some of her races and maybe, just maybe, we can understand exactly how Tiranish Dababa operates. Alright guys, so the first video we're going to look at is the 2013 5000 meters from Paris. I believe this is one of the Diamond League meets. And this is Tiranish doing some of, some of the stuff that Tiranish does best. She stays up front and pushes the pace and simply can outlast everyone. And if there's anyone that can hang on to her pace, she can just inject a 60 second last lap and just make them just, you know, completely die. So here's a good slow-mo. And one thing I want to touch on is her form here. Notice her left arm. I think it comes up just a little bit more than her right. I'm honestly not entirely sure why, but I think there's a little loss of efficiency there, but she's still got full drive with each stride, and even though she sort of has that arm swing that's a little bit high and her shoulders sway just a little bit, she's surprisingly smooth. I mean, look how little her head moves, look how nice and tall she stays, and look how little impact she has on the ground. She lands, again, like a lot of distance runners, she lands on the forefront of her foot, pushes off with a lot of smoothness, her trail leg comes up very effortlessly, and I think that, that effortless stride through her legs and where she lands and how tall she stays is why she's able to last so long and run so quickly over such long distances. Now, right here we've got about 400 meters to go and this is where Tiranish really shines. She has always in her career had a very devastating kick. However, she can start her kick from 800 meters out, 400 meters out, and even at times, you know, 100 meters out, maybe even 50. But on this one, she started around 400, uh, which typically I'd say 400 meters is her typical closing distance. Uh, and she drops a 62 second lap right here. I mean, she's done a lot quicker than that in the past. I believe she's run plenty of sub 60s, but 62 is still dang impressive. And now for the next video, we're gonna go back 10 years. This is when Tiranesh was 18 years old. And this is also, this is also in Paris. This is in the exact same stadium. So, from 2003 to 2013, a lot changed. So we're gonna see exactly what she was like when she won her first world championships. And coincidentally, this is the same year that um, Elliot Kipchoge won the exact same uh, distance in the 5,000 meters. So they were both 18 years old and they both won um, you know, these prestigious races. Just a very cool coincidence there. But this is very different from the last video we saw where Tiranesh was up front the whole time. In this video, you know, you've got an 18 year old prof newly professional runner now who's unfamiliar with some of the top names so she's kind of in the middle of the pack not really pushing the pace you can see her there she's just such a small figure compared to everyone else but she basically is sticking through the pace for the entire race and then with you know 50 meters to go she just takes off and look at this 200 meters to go and she's in sixth place she is so 
far from the lead, but watch this. She swings out wide. Look at the turnover compared to everyone else. Arms driving, great form, legs coming up really nice and high, and she just takes off and she's gone. 18 year old, wins the world championships, 1451 with a 245 last kilometer. Dang. And look at this, I wanted to showcase this because it shows a slightly different type of form. Her arms come out kind of wide when she's doing this dead sprint, and you don't see her doing that uh, in her future races. Um, but she's still got extreme smoothness and very, very little lost effort. Great foot placement uh, and just very smooth, so very impressive for an 18-year-old. And last but not least, this is the 2008 Olympic Finals in the 10,000 meters, and I had to show a 10K race. I mean, Dababa was undefeated for 11 years at this distance. 11 years, it's longer than a decade. Just think about it, it's amazing. Um, and this is, this is kind of just her at her peak, I would say. This is when she was virtually unbeatable. I mean, look how smooth she looks. She's definitely being tested a little bit, but she's not really, uh, you can tell she's kind of in her own element. She's, they've broken away from the field. Look how smooth she is. Got the classic uh, classic stride we've talked about already. Uh, her arms look a little bit more relaxed than they did in the first video. So I think at this point her fitness was likely a lot higher. But I just, I really appreciate her her um, her cadence as well. You know, she's got a very, she doesn't overstride. She stays, she lands with her foot barely in front of her, but when it rolls under, her maximum weight is directly under her, which is nice. Four foot placement, I'm a big fan of that. And here coming down the home stretch, uh, don't sleep on a 60 second last lap. That is the mark of a champion. Notice again, great great form coming down the home stretch, and notice she doesn't do the, uh, the wide arms like she did in the last video. I wanted to showcase that. And 29 minutes, 54 seconds is, um, that's a sub 30 minute 10K. That's pretty unbelievable. So Tiranish Tababa is an absolute legend and uh, she's clearly one of the all-time greats. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time to give Tiranish Dababa a score. Remember, the score system is one to 100. 100 is the absolute best she can attain. So let's go ahead and unveil the scores. Here you go. All right, guys, here is the scores for Tiranish Dababa, AKA the baby-faced destroyer from Ethiopia. She gets a 96, a very, very impressive rank. If you're above 90, you're up there with some of the all-time greats. I really think 90 and above virtually puts you at an icon status, and she's at 96, so she's easily one of the greatest distance runners of all time, male or female. Almost unbeatable when it comes to all of her international accolades, but I wanted to give you just a little bit of my thoughts behind these rankings. So mechanics, again, her arms was the only area where I think she could improve. Very smooth on the legs, gave her a 9 there. Mental toughness, I mean, she's extremely tough, there's no doubt about that. Just look at her face in this picture. That's really all you need to know. Strong kick, last 400 meters is just absolutely devastating, but she's also capable of, you know, an 800 meter kick, 50 meter kick, very impressive. Career longevity, I mean, she had an 11 year winning streak in the 10,000 meters. I, I've, I've never heard of anything like that in my life, except for maybe Edwin Moses with the 400 meter hurdles. That's just amazing. And she's also run for longer than that and been winning, so it's not just 11 years, it's longer. Very incredible. Championship races, easily a 10. She's won so many world championship and Olympic medals. It's, um, it's unbelievable. Running range, I only gave her a 9 here because she does have the 5K and 10K almost perfected. And she's done quite well in the marathon. However, I think that um, beneath the 5K, she never really was an international powerhouse like she is with the other distances. So I gave her a 9. Tactical awareness, I've seen her get out kicked by Meseret Defar. And I've seen her get uh, second or third place at times because I think she she's just very... It's a very little portion of her races, but she kind of found herself out of position and wasn't able to respond. So I gave her a 9. Personal bests, gotta give her a 10. She's the current world record holder for the 5,000 meters. Sub 30 minutes for the 10K. Unbelievable. And she's also the third fastest marathoner of all time. So, easily a 10. Again, records broken. Kind of in the same area as personal bests. She's broken. She's the world record holder for the uh, 10,000 meters and uh excuse me for the 5k um but she's you know that's a world record in um by i want to say four or five seconds over meseret defar um she's she's held that for multiple years as well so i gave her a 10. and lastly adaptation i think over her career she's been able to adapt to newcomers that are really great in the races uh as well as you know transforming over into the marathon uh she started her, she ran her first marathon in 2014 ran 220 now she's down to 217 Honestly, I think she's closing in on the world record with a few other runners. Gave her a perfect 10 there. And in total again, 96. Very impressive performance. Um, great runs over her career. Trinus Tababa is an absolute icon of running. 
Um, and yeah, guys, uh, that was uh, that's Tyrannish to Baba. So I want to thank you very much for watching. And again, feel free to let me know of anyone you want me to take a look at. I love doing these videos. I'm definitely going to look into more female distance runners, but um, I've gotten a lot of requests over the past couple weeks. Got a lot of people on the to-do list, and I am working on them, I promise you. So again, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you all in the next video.